I'd like to do one more long division problem where we consider a situation where the divisor has three digits. In the last video we talked about what to do when we have um, a divisor th with two digits and that was difficult enough. Um, so of course dividing by a three digit number is going to be even harder. So again we'll put our dividend 8764 inside of our box and we'll put 439 outside. Now of course 439 uh, does not go into 8, it does not go into 87, so clearly what we're considering here is the numbers 439 and 876. So we need to figure out how many times 439 goes into 876. Well one real quick way of getting an initial guess is to chop off the same number of digits in each number to get an initial guess. So instead of crossing anything out here, I think what I'm going to do is just kind of put a squiggly mark underneath of the ones digit in each number that we're considering. So what I'm going to do now is look at 43 and 87. How many times does 43 go into 87? Um, now, if that's still hard to think about, you could even take it a step further. You could say, okay, how many times does 4 go into 8? So just ignoring the 3 and the 9 here and the 7 and the 6 here. And you very well may not get the correct guess here, but it'll get you in the neighborhood. It'll pretty much get you within 1 if it doesn't hit the mark exactly. So 439 goes into 867, well, a decent guess would be twice, since 4 goes into 8 twice. So we'll go ahead and put a 2 here. Now we need to multiply 439 by 2, so let me do that up here. And when I do, I get 18. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 2 times 4 is 8. And notice what happened here. I got 878. Now in the last video we saw what it looked like to have this guess up here be too low. Here we're seeing what it means for the guess to be too high. If this number after you multiply is ever bigger than the number above it, you know that you made too high of a guess that 439 does not quite fit into 876 twice. So that's okay. Guessing wrong is a part of this process. We go ahead and erase our 878 down here. We erase our 2 and so we know the answer is going to be 1. And so we put 439 down here and we know we're going to have a giant remainder. So we go ahead and do our subtraction. That becomes a 16, as that becomes a 6. So 16 minus 9 is 7. 6 minus 3 is 3. 8 minus 4 is 4. Now as you move to the next one, we know we have to drop a 4 down. Any time this remainder, 437, is really close to the divisor, you know that the next number in your quotient is going to be really high. And when it's as close as these two are, 437 and 439, you can almost guarantee it's going to be a 9. So I'm just going to go ahead and guess that right away. I'm going to put a 9 there. I'll see what happens when I multiply 439 and 9. So 9 times 9 is 81. 9 times 3 is 27. Plus 8 is 35. And 9 times 4 is 36, plus 3 is 39. So definitely, definitely smaller than this number, so it's not too big. And I know, in fact, that it's going to be just right because we know we can't have um, two-digit numbers up here in the quotient. Um, I'm sorry, that kind of a, was a funny way to say that. We can't have a two-digit number in a single slot here. So we go ahead and subtract that. We have a 3 there, a 2 there, and do a little borrowing, make that a 13. And so we have a remainder of 423.
So our answer is 19 with a remainder of 423.